Okay, so when you first start in this scene, the default VR scene, you've got your right stick here, which gives you the uh, the teleport option. Um, and then you've got your snap turn here. Um, and obviously, you've got your pick up, pick up of all objects here, which you can do with your uh, right the side button on your control. Um, so I'm going to change this basically because uh, I don't want it. Um, so we want to have smooth movement so we can basically have smooth turning uh, and we can just walk forward. Um, and this is for people a little bit more used to VR, but um, you know, this, I find this quite uh, disconcerting and uh, teleporting again, I, I feel that to some degree this makes people feel sicker because you're suddenly finding yourself in an entirely new space. Um, anyway, so let's get on with it. Get started. So you need to refer to the previous video so that you've got access to your VR preview. Um, so you need to set up a few things. This will also show you how to set up this uh, this layout, which is a little bit uh, clearer <laughs> if you've been using Unreal 4. So um, what we want to do is we want to, first of all, we want to find the uh, VR pawn and start replacing a few of the movement blueprints. So let's just open that up. Um, takes a little while. So this is all quite clearly laid out uh, and they've designed it obviously for comfort. Uh, but if you're a bit more experienced with or uh, you've got your VR sea legs as they call it, you don't really need these settings. So... Um, we want to just disconnect the teleport, so I'm just holding down Alt and just uh, disconnecting these. Don't want any of those. Compile. So this will basically remove uh, any movement options within the within the VR template, uh, and we also want to remove the turn, snap turn. So I actually need to remove that, but okay. So the next thing we want to look at is that we've got a new thing called player mappable input, which uh, which controls, which replaces the action or the input mappings. Um, so it sounds complicated. It's actually not that complicated and it's probably a sensible thing because it makes it slightly easier for you to uh, utilize different mappings across different devices. Anyway, shut up, Andy. So, uh, so it's called... Uh, PM, it's called PMI, Player Mappable Input. So this is Player Mappable Input VR Template, and this is the, the uh, that's actually not what we want. We want the, um, just want to show you the uh, IMC default. So uh, Mappable Content, I think is what it's called. So if we look at the mappings here, um, Hang on. It seems it is slightly more confusing uh, than I thought because I've forgotten how to access this. But yes, so basically uh, it's the player mappable input uh, VR template. And if you open this up, uh, it's IM we're looking at IMC default, which is the default settings, which you can set up your own new ones of these. Uh, these are .ini files, which means you can swap them between projects. Um, you can set up new ones of these, but you can just basically, in this case, I'm just going to adjust the default so if we uh so interactive mappable content possibly um so i'm just gonna look for this and use the little uh look for icon and if we open this up which i've already done uh we can see that this is a bit more like the original mappings that you're used to uh in ue4 so it's exactly the same thing basically it's just it's, it's just it makes it slightly easier to to use between uh different headsets for instance or different um control systems so uh let's have a look so uh we've got all these we've got move turn grab left grab right so it's the we don't want the turn anymore but we can just leave these as they are because they've uh, i've just disconnected them in the blueprints I believe. Okay, so so the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, create an input action, so an action mapping effectively, but using the new system. So if we just have a look at one of these uh, to give us an idea of what we're doing, get that out of the way. Actually, let's just close that. Actually, let's leave that open. Uh, right, excuse me, sorry. Let's just dock that in there. Um, so um, do we need to dock that as well? Yeah, why not? So, if we have a look at one of these, which I think I just did, we can see here, we can open up these uh, and 
that is effectively the one we've actually got open. But if you just look here, so it doesn't actually give you, you don't put the keys in here, you don't put in the, the for instance, the, the controller direction or um, the import, you just put in what it's doing. So you've got a lot of options here, digital, which is a bool. Uh, you've got the 1D, 2D and 3D um, directional controls. Uh, and you've got other modifiers here, but we'll talk about those in a minute because we're actually going to use one of those. So let's just make a new one of these. So if we go back to this, uh, I'm just going to make a new folder called Andy, which is my name. Um, and so we want to make an input action. So if we go to uh, input and then input action, and let's call this um, move forward backwards. Let's call it, yeah, sorry, let's call it IA move uh, for back oh, it's confusing them in the world but let's just use that um, so let's have a look at the action description we want it to be walk forward backward this this is just the name for it so I know what it actually does uh, this is fine, just leave this. We want this to be a 1D because we're moving in uh, in one direction. So um, we want this to be a 1D float. So the thing we do want to do here, which we used to have the blueprint in, is we do want to actually add a modifier. So if we um, go here, we can actually add something called dead zone. And so this is really useful because this means we don't have to blueprint in the fact you may start drifting while you're in VR. So effectively, this is given us an option to, uh, if I can actually open that, yes. So just these defaults here mean that you've got to be at least 20% uh, of your uh, stick movement before you actually start moving. Um, and it's radial and this is all fine. So that's really useful. So thanks, Epic. Um, okay, so let's just save that create another one of the the so let's just control c control v uh, and let's call this i just copied and pasted there obviously um and let's just call this if i can work out how to do it uh i input action rotate uh, x oh rotate x so i should really that's that's basically in the y-axis so i'm going to rename that uh, so y movement even more confusing well than andy uh so that's just because it's in the y-axis and these are in the x-axis so let's just that can that's basically going to be the same it's a it's a 1d uh, axis uh and this should read rotate uh, x uh, same dead zone, yep, so we're not drifting. Uh, so that's all good. So let's just save all. So then we want to basically utilize these in this. Not this, this. Uh, nope, that. So we want to add these two new ones here, basically. So we want to add two new input actions. Um, so what we need to do here is we need to add a new mapping and we need to go to this is confusing because it looks like you need to put it in here but you actually have to select it here so let's go um x yeah input action rotate x that's mine isn't it yes uh that's good and then let's have a look at the key so rotate x we want that to be on i'm going to put that on the left stick so uh yeah left stick we don't want the left mouse button we want the uh oculus quest the quest oculus touch it's called um so it's left let's have a look oculus top thumbstick button so it's left yeah thumbstick left so it's not is it is, is thumbstick left isn't it yeah okay so let's say that so that'll do left and right uh depending on which direction we're pushing it obviously so let's save that and then what we want to do is we want to go back to that oh yeah sorry okay so we just need to close that up um and then we want 
move. Is that rotate? It's walk wire, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we want to add another one, which is uh, again, we want to put Y here. Yeah, so this ridiculous name here. Um, and again, we want that to be the Y axis on the right controller. So it's, that's the left controller. Oculus touch right, thumbstick left. So that's incorrect. Andy, well done. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to Oculus touch. So I'm going to be moving forward with my right stick and rotating with my left stick. Moving forward with my right stick. So it's Oculus touch right, uh, thumbstick forward, thumbstick Y axis. Yeah, okay, that's correct. Uh, and so this needs to be left wow my brain's gonna work out today uh so it's thumbstick left and it's x-axis okay that's correct right in. so we're in the vr porn blueprint one thing we do need to do which i forgot uh which i've now done is we need to um if we go to vr porn self um actually just if you're in the vr porn and you go to class settings you need to set your Parent class to characters, you can just go to the drop down, just find character and then recompile. Um, and what will happen is then this will give you a capsule component and also character movement, so you've got access to all the speed, etc. Um, and all the goodies. So let's move on. And what we're going to do is I'm going to I've just made a bit of space here, uh, between the input action grabs and the move section, which I've uh, I've, I've deleted out the links here so that doesn't actually function so what we want to do here is you want to call the um, the we're going to do the forward backward movement so we, we want to call the function so because it's called such a stupid name that does have benefits because now uh, effectively I can just find it so what we're doing there is just calling an import so um, we're not actually calling it it's basically accessing accessing an, an import so obviously uh, when we press forward or back on the right stick, it's it's going to um, activate this. So what are we going to put in this to move it? We're going to put a movement import. Yes, thank you. Uh, I've also made a variable called move speed, um, which is a float. So. I've just put in five and, and this is just basically so that we're multiplying uh, the action or the scale so that it's actually moving at a decent speed so we can actually, it actually moves. Um, so let's just trigger this. So sorry, just to say that the the outputs on this are slightly different from your normal input, uh, your normal outputs on your, uh, on your mappings. But uh, trigger and start are really the ones you need to worry about with regards to actually activating um, the input or what, whatever uh, runs from the input. So let's get a forward vector from uh, the, the world direction. Uh, forward. Um, that's all good. And then we want that to be the camera effectively. Uh, so that's not working so let's have a look at uh, what direction so that target is pawn yep get forward vector okay so um, So we don't want the ball rotation. Okay, just give me a second. Uh, test fire moving forward and backward. Also, it's got the added benefit of it moves forward in the direction you're looking. So that's really useful. So we need to now add in the rotate. So what I'll do is, uh, okay, so I want to call the rotate. Let's just try X. Rotate, did I, how, what did I call it? What did I call it? Let's have a look. Um, I called it. Oh, it says it here. I A rotate X. Okay, so that's the benefit of putting I A in front of things. I A rotate X. Uh, okay, so that's 
that input action. So uh, this is quite simple. We want to add an act of world rotation. Should be quite simple, but um, there's a couple of little things we need to do. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Uh, add act of world rotation. Yes. So do we need to split the pin? I don't think we do. Um, yeah. Okay. Delta rotation. Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to uh, and let me see. Let me just move that across there. Trigger that. Uh, action value. Want to put a multiply again? And to be honest with you, I can just basically copy that. Move that down there. And then I just control C, control V there basically. Uh, and then it needs to be the delta rotation, which is not having that. Okay, so we have a look what's going on here. There's I haven't split the structure pin out, so it's obviously only going to do it in one direction, which is the yaw. So let's go for that. Um okay. So let's comment that. Uh so, at, uh, well, what we're talking about, VR rotation. And again, let's just color that something so we know uh, that it's me that's making the mess. Right, so uh, there's one more thing that I do need to do, which I had a bit of trouble with this, um, and this, uh, I believe, fixes it. So let's just save all. So if we go to VR Pawn Self, uh, is it VR Pawn Self? Uh, let me just double check. Let's just have a look. Rotation, yeah. So it's this to turn that off. Uh, I just search for rotation, and this has come up in the pawn. Okay, so let's compile, let's save all, and let's just do a little test. Out of there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a forward vector. Uh, so it's giving me options there for the forward vector camera, uh, and that's all good, and that goes into there fine. Thank you. Okay, um, so we want to, the, the value I was talking about, the move speed, so this is, uh, let's actually put in a multiply. Um, so I just want to multiply my um, input by the move speed. So you can obviously, you can adjust this, you know, if it doesn't appear to be moving or it's moving too fast, this is your variable here. Uh, and we can make that uh, visible within the editor so that we can adjust it and, and kind of tweak it as we're testing. Uh, and let's add that over there. And so let's comment this. Uh, let's call it move forward, backward. Uh, yet compile. And let's give this a color so that I know where to look when nothing works. Uh, that's everything I believe, so I'll just test this. Okay, so I'm in my VR preview, so you can see the character controller has effectively put us about 30 feet up in the air, um, which is a slight problem. So, as I say, you know, with my right stick, I'm, I, whatever I'm looking, I can move forward and backwards, and then now with my left stick, I can rotate. Um, I mean, so the rotate's probably a little bit fast, so I might want to put in a separate variable for the uh, rotation uh, speed. Uh, otherwise, you might end up with new VR users puking. But really, I'm just doing this because um, this is kind of how uh, I'm comfortable developing on the project uh, that I'm going to be creating. So I, I kind of want to be able to just move around normally. Um, okay, so that's that. Thank you.